that way. God? What are you trying to lie to you? We are gods. You are not, you are at least reading a little book. You're just a man. Where's your book? What book you got? You are reading a little book. So you don't know how to read? It's right here. You don't know how to read? That's an insult or something. Right, exactly. Uh, right. Oh, right. Oh, Listen, yeah. why would do I need to know how to read? Because I'm God. Can you read hieroglyphs? I'm God. Can you read hieroglyphs? I'm but you're God? God. You know what? You're, you're God. You're, you guys are. You're, 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 you're mad. You're, 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 you've been smitten with madness. Right. That's what happened oh, to you. You don't even know. The, you even said you don't even so know. You the have the Bible in your head, and you think I have madness. No, you are madness. The Bible is madness. You, you are madness. Listen. Let me read you're, you're you clearly, clearly, Proverbs 12 and 15. Clearly black. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. Come on. See? Come on. Yeah. Two. Yeah, but well, let, me, let, let me ask you a When you're preaching right now, when you're preaching, excuse me, when you're preaching, don't you try to say that you are righteous? Isn't this guy trying to say he's righteous? No, we never said we never said that. that so you why, why you, you are preaching. You're making right stuff up. No, no, but you're preaching on it. The Bible said there's no, nothing to do, well, nothing to well, do good. That's what you're doing. There's nothing to do good. That's what you're doing. You're judging. You're judging. You say, oh, this now guy. Now we are judging. You say, oh, I have a God. This guy doesn't have a God. You see? Do you guys, do you guys see that the Bible doesn't make sense? Because the Bible contradicts itself. How's it contradicting itself? Right. You contradict you. Just you just say you're righteous then. Huh? Why are you trying to preach me that you? I didn't say I was righteous. Yes! I never said that. That's what you're doing. I didn't say that. Because you're preaching righteous because you're outside. Oh, yeah. Being yeah. righteous because of ourselves. You say that the white people are the good. No, you remember say, he said it don't matter. You know, you know? It don't matter. Well, he said you, white people. White, he said that's what you said. That's, I know you guys do. He's right. Like, you said the white people are going to hell. There's no such thing as hell. Well, well, you there's no hell. Oh, you guys go to You guys go to Who is hell? What is hell? You don't know what hell is. What does the word hell mean? No way. That's a one of yard notes. That's hell. You see? That's hell. He tell you what hell is. You say, talk to this guy who know what is hell. hell is. Do your service. You talk to this guy who know. No, you guys invite me. There's no way you can teach him. You're unteachable. You're unteachable. Because I don't believe in this. No, of course you're a fool. Yeah, you're, no, 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 no. you're a reprobate. I know more than you're you. void of judgment. You know more than you know more than that. Oh yeah. Where's, I where's know your beard? Way more. Where's your beard? <laughs> there you go. He lost it. He lost, it. lost it. It fell off. Uh, where's your beard at, man? Yeah, that's I got, I got, I got Where's your beard? I got don't got no facial hair, nothing on your face. But you got. Like, you're trying to play a little fool. You have missed me with that. No, I'm tired. Now you got some more. I got three steps. No, no. 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 Now you got to do again. I don't look like him, so I'm wrong. Lee is right. That's your stupid Bible. Lee is good. Your Bible is so good. You can't say it before him. That's slave. This is our Bible. You can't say it before him. That's slave. This is our Bible. You can't say it before him. That's slave. This is our but that shall be a man and no God. Yeah, the, you shall be a man and no God, continue. No, no, no. In the hand of him that slayeth thee. Woohoo! Fire. Mm. So you, you ain't no God. You're going to be destroyed. The Bible says, Thou shalt die the death of the uncircumcised by the hand so of the Lord. Oh, no. Hold on. You're going you to die the death of a heathen. Y'all are. Oh, so when you know. It says the Lord God, the most high, not you. So the Lord, you gonna, the Lord going to deal with you like he deal with a heathen. I, I hope he does. Because right now you a heathen. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? You have no clue what you're saying. You have no clue what he's going for. He ain't waiting on that. What is he waiting for? He's doing what he want to do on his time. I want him to do it now. So he can't just slip it. If your God is a man. He's talking the most time. He's talking about the most time. If your God is a man. Man, you about to mark yourself, man. You marking yourself. No, he doesn't. Even Esau. He don't love him. Even Esau. You guys, you should talk to him. Where's your brother right there? You guys, you should talk to him. You're to a brother. You're to a brother. Hey, hey, Esau get you together. You know it's getting real. You ain't Esau. Oh, shit. What you waiting for? I don't want to until you, you guys. Oh, I got them on. Oh, can, 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 can I answer? Can I answer? What are you waiting for? Can I answer? I don't want to because the same power I have, you should have it too. <laughs> Man. I'm talking about things you think you cannot understand. But you if you're really looking for society, sir, shut up. Let me talk to this guy. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Let me talk hold to this guy. See, guy. when he first came oh, up here, shit. he was all about him. You know what I'm saying? Where you get this guy, man? 
It's your friend, not mine. You go, idiot. I'm going to do Matthew, yeah, Matthew man, 12 to 36. Uh, well, I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. So he going to add the faith. You got to watch what you say. Oh, I got another scripture. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Yep. So his words, but when you say the Bible is bullshit, fuck right. the Bible, fuck your God, and all that, I feel sorry for you. I, I, it's not nothing I could ever. Nah, you I apologize about that, y'all. I, I was getting into it. He's a retard. I can't get mad at a guy like that. You know, run your mouth. Don't even know the Lord's name. He's retarded. Walking around with no beard, nothing on his face. Man, get out. He coming back. Right now, they doing all kinds of bad shit over there. I, I got a preset for you, but you want to tell me something. Uh, Proverbs 13 and 3. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life. But he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. That's right. You know, he had there running his mouth. You know what I mean? Especially talking, saying, oh, fuck the most high, the Bible. I will, I'm waiting for the horse. Was high to punish me. Man, uh, and we, I'm waiting too. I'm waiting. I thought you were doing it. Don't worry. He will. 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 Therefore, the heart of the sons of man is fully set in them to do evil. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God, which fear before him. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he fears not before God. Right. Yeah, so his days is going to be hastened to the end. Most high. Man. Yeah, he could take his ass out tonight, bro. Yeah, that's the thing, but the Lord said, my, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Exactly. You gotta understand, the time with the most high is different. He said one day to the Lord, a thousand years, you know, a thousand years, you know, you know, Yeah, but, uh, so, it's not gonna be, you know, real quick. As soon as you say something, you're gonna die right, right there. I know sometimes it happens like that, but the Lord's patient, he gonna just, he let your shit build up so it could be a greater destruction. Exactly. He might hit you, his ass with some Luke Gehrig's disease or something. <laughs> Make his ass suffer, you know what I mean? Right, like, just like that crown Edomite devil. When you read the article from the Maccabees, he got his right then and there. Yeah. Right, right going, going after Israel and his horse and his, and his army. He was talking shit while he riding. Most of just got in there, man. Right. You know? Uh, uh, so this is the example of Goliath. Now, Goliath, we don't know much about Goliath, but, you know, his whole life has been, he said he was a warrior since he was in, he was in youth, right? He right. don't fear the most high. Of course, he was probably talking shit. So it took yeah. that long for him to get to King David to be destroyed by King David, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's a build-up. It wasn't just, oh, he just, as soon as he talks shit, he just died. He got out. killed by a young man. Yeah, it took a build-up. It took, it took 17 years for David to grow to become 17 years old. He didn't kill him, you know what I'm saying? It took time. It take us. Goliath got embarrassed. He got embarrassed. Yeah. He got put to shame. Yeah, because Goliath, but they call him a champion. So a champion don't lose. He, he constantly shot. battle after battle after battle. So he got Lord just built and shut up until last time. He got his head shot. He got his head shot off by his own sword. That's salty, you know what I mean? That's, that's embarrassing. Most high kid. Most high kid. Yeah, by a pretty, yeah, young man. Yeah. He was young. He was young. He was young as hell, you know. Man, he's tired of it sometimes. You know, most high ain't playing with these people. They'll see, they'll see. You know what I'm saying? Man, these little scoffers ain't shit, man. These dudes are trash, bro. All these little scoffers, y'all trash. We just laugh at these people, man. You can't even take them serious. It's, not, it's funny, though. It's funny. You, just, you can't take them serious. I mean, they that stupid. <laughs> He don't matter. Okay, man. He don't matter. Okay, we'll see. Yep. We'll see. That's how two thirds uh, think. I got a scripture for that. Go ahead. No, I ain't got it yet. It's the uh, wisdom of Solomon 12. And I'm going to start at 8. Man, I ran something. Talking about right. the heathens. Look, but look at my camera. Uh, <laughs> I'm start, yeah, we start at 7. No, I'm going to start at 8. It says, Nevertheless, even thus thou sparest as 
that spirit is as men that send wops and forerunners to thine host to destroy them little and little. Not that thou was unable to bring the ungodly under the hand of the righteous in battle, or to destroy them at once with cruel beasts, or with, or with one rough word. It's like one rough word. So it says the Lord ain't the Lord is not he's not a uh, weak or some shit that he, the Lord can destroy you with one rough word. Word. He can just say destroy. Done. You know what I'm saying? It says, but executing that judgments upon them little and little. Can you get a little bit over that camera? Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, thou That's what givest them okay. place of it repentance, is. not being ignorant that they made, that they were a Nazi generation, and that their malice were breathed into in them, that their congregation would never be changed, or was a cursed seed from the beginning. Cursed seed from the beginning. Wow. Yeah. Uh, he Even didn't. though they're getting their ass whooped, like the scripture says, little here, a little there, mm -hmm. they cursed anyway. It ain't nothing they can do. They just complain about right. the devil's right. He said, they did this thou for fear of any man give them pardon for things wherein they sin. But who shall say, what has thou done? Or who shall withstand thy judgment? Or who shall accuse thee for the nation that perished? Whom thou hast made? Or who shall come to stand against thee to be revenged for the unrighteous men? For neither is there any God but thou that careth for all, to whom thou mightest show that thy judgment is not of right. Neither shall king of tyrant be able to set his face against thee for any whom thou hast, un uh, whom thou hast punished. For, for as much thou, hast, thou art righteous thyself, that orderest all things righteously, thinkest it agreeably with thy power to condemn them that have not uh, preserved to be uh, punished. I'm trying to find a point, bro. I'm trying to for thy power is the beginning of righteousness, and, and uh, because thou art Lord of all, it maketh thee to be gracious unto all. For when men would not believe that oh, it is, but for when men would not believe that thou art a full power, thou showest thy strength, and among them that knew it, thou maketh their boldness manifest. It says, But thou, ma mastering thy power, judgest them with equity, and orders us with great favor, for thou best use power when thou wilt. But by such things, uh, by, by such works that have taught thy people that the just should be merciful and have made thy children to be of good hope that they have repented. It's kind of point where it says, it's like, it's like, man. The forgiveness food came from the truth, man, but hey, he, he feel no need to repent of his wickedness. Mm -hmm. He feel no need to, you know, hey, he have all the wisdom and knowledge and understand that he needs. Yeah. Huh. You know? A damn dick, a fool, man. He's like, I don't give a fuck about the Bible. Like, a fool, man. A fool. What's he gonna do with a guy? The most high truth, and he makes you an open shot. That's right. He destroys people open. He wants people to see how foolish you are, man. Uh, he just openly disrespectful. Yeah. Just out with it. You see, he opened his mouth and he shows what type of person he is. A fool. Yeah. He opened his mouth. Please ask us to tell you when you come to the house of the Lord. Keep your mouth shut. He's gone. He's gone. I got a quick script. Man, when he said that, I was like, wow. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And he was proud. He was very proud. He just asked me. Uh, this is uh, Matthew 24, 34. Very last say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. So, I mean, the word, like here it is, this asshole, he gonna pass away, you know what I mean? Who, who is he? But these words is always, that's the thing these scoffers don't understand. These words are always, they always been here, they always gonna be here. They can't, they can't that motherfucker's a nobody. He's right. a nobody. Exactly. And when he died, nobody gonna know. Him. Exactly. And then they're like, what, who, is the, who is that? You know what I'm saying? How long these scriptures been here? Thousands of years. Thousands. And they gonna get, his words ain't gonna be here. Right. Ain't nobody gonna remember nothing that fool ever said right. when he go. 10,000 yeah. years. <laughs> yeah. He said 10,000. 10,000 years. Yeah. This, uh, this is the one I was looking for. Second Ezra 5. And I said, uh, it's like 42. And he said unto me, not that 41, yeah. And I said, Behold, O Lord, yet art thou nigh unto them that are preserved to the end. And what shall they do that have been before me? For he that be now, or 
day that he came after us. And he said unto me, I will liken my judgment unto a ring. Like as there is no likeness of the last, even so there is no swiftness of the first. I want to say uh, slow, slow, slow. Yeah, slow, slow. Uh -huh. well, like, you see a ring, you know, you got a ring on your finger, it's just a circle, you know what I'm saying? There's no swiftness of the first and there's no uh, slackness at the last. So just because it's going to take a long time and think, doesn't mean he ain't going to do it. Okay. Alright, that's good. If the Lord told you he's coming like a thief in the night, well, he ain't going to come. Man, he's going to catch you slipping. You got to have a good old time. You know, he gonna be out, out there with his little ugly, ugly ass girl, or whatever. <laughs> or his ugly, probably boyfriend, shit. A donkey, whatever he had. Uh, <laughs> he gonna get fucked up, man. That's how the Lord get people when they having a good time. Mm -hmm. Just when you think everything's, you know, you at the party, every, everything. So, that's when you get That's right. I got a good scripture. Hey, let, me, let me read this one. Oh, go ahead. This Nahum 1 and 3. The Lord is slow and the Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of the spirit. Well, he gives you, he giving these full time, you know, to wake up. Yeah. But actually, you had a, some brothers like that that it was just big time clowns before they came into the truth. They might have talked shit. Oh, y'all motherfuckers are crazy. Y'all full of shit. Right. I've heard some brothers before say they was a, they started off as a scoffer, but then they, then they woke up to the truth. I ain't yeah. saying that dude gonna wake up. Right. But hell, he ain't waking up. He gonna wake up the message. <laughs> but some dudes is like that though, you know. They might, but they don't take it serious at first. Yeah. But you know, once you find out what we saying is true, you can't you can't deny it. You can't deny it. They look pitiful. They got a stupid look. They look dumb. Yeah. Right. You know. I be having nightmares sometimes, like something happens to my beard, my face. Yeah, what is it? I be, I freak, freak it out, like, oh, fuck, man, I can't, I can't even leave the house. I, I can't, what are they gonna say? That's what I was thinking, like, I was thinking somebody gonna, somebody yeah. trying to, trying to uh, cut your shit off. Yeah, yeah. man. Like, who was that? Who was that that was sitting up on him? So they kicked here for a second. Oh, for real? That was some, uh, the Scarface Warriors. David, I think. Yeah, they wanted to talk about the Philistines. They got Ammonite. Oh, Ammonite. Ammonite, yeah. yeah. Beard, and David's like, man, y'all got to go into hiding until your beard comes back. Yeah. But you know what? People treat you differently when you have facial hair. Like, I even know, like, for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I'm out and about and stuff, like, dude, you know, they give you that respect. Just come in as a fashion thing, man. And I ain't doing good. Like, you see your boy, uh, the, like, the MVP of the Super Bowl, your boy, Edelman. You ain't seen his beard though? But that's popular now in sports. Everybody got beards. Like Edelman got a beard. James Harden got it. Uh, uh, LeBron, everybody wearing yeah. beards now. Yeah, I think a lot of them dudes, they done heard about Israel though. Because you're going to have a lot of these, uh, you know, they sell out. They ride in the fence. They don't know whether to be, in, you know, in the truth or out the truth. But you're going to have a lot of these. Players. They know about Israel. They got to. You know what I'm saying? I think that one dude, uh, was it Amari Stoudemire? I think he was kicking with the crack stuff. But yeah, that's fashionable now, growing your beard out. And we started that fashion trend. They gonna start shaving them Oh, they came out with you that. They said what? They say that delay. Shaving them off? Two thirds gonna start shaving them off. Oh, yeah. But the toxic masculinity. What is with toxic masculinity, man? They, they just don't want. They want you to be a. They want you to be a bitch. They want you to be like a bitch. That's pretty much it. You know, I think when you when you see people like clean shaven and stuff, that's that feminine spirit. You know what I'm saying? It's that vibration that they want to keep out there. I bet if I shave my beard, I probably get beat up. I probably probably. You know what I mean? They be like, look at this little weakling. Let's go right. beat him up and take his money. Yeah. Right, but at this point, uh, he's like, you see a woman with a, a beard, what you gonna think? Like, yeah, yeah. Beard. Like, so, so man. Man. Yeah. man, but you, you see some of these women out here. I've seen one of her beard bigger than mine. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, what? They get that Ain't little that chin hair down here. Right. Hey. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Beard bigger than mine, man. Right. That's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of bitches got mustaches. 
<laughs> you get up, you can't see it from a distance. You get up close. I've been got Yeah, yeah. Constantly shaving every day. That's just weird. But you know what? It's like what you were saying before, man. When it gets really real out here, everyone's gonna try to start shutting out there. I'm not no Israelite. I'm not no. Running from that, that I guess. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Oh. Make sure you feel that. We in that age and that period now, we're starting to be trying to put a bad label on this thing. Yeah. Black. You know? Hebrew Israelite. Ain't no black. Man, the fucking Lord fighting the chickens on the news so many times this past week. I was like, whoa. Yeah. Every news out there, man. Every news out there. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna come a point that we gonna sit back and be like, whoa. Right. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. We know it's coming, but we whoa. Right. It's coming, man. It's fucking coming. Like again, man, talking about the priests. This nigga like, don't know nothing. If you don't know nothing, you gonna teach you. Don't know. Oh, you don't know nothing. You just gonna teach anything and everything. Can you imagine what that fool is teaching his children now? Exactly. Uh, whoever else. <laughs> Preparing them for the He got some ugly ass kids. Oh, <laughs> dumb ass kids. Oh, gobble. Dumb ass kids. Yeah, they gotta be dumb as Dumb as fuck, man. They probably end up getting good jobs and everything. Like, listen to them videos of Martin Luther King's sons and daughters. They are some fucking idiots. They are man. retarded. They're idiots, they're man. They're retarded. They idiots, cool. man. They, cool. they was on this, that one was on the Super Bowl last night. Uh, one kid, his granddaughter, and stuff like that. Watch it. Yeah, I didn't watch it either. It's on the halftime. Oh, I had to watch it. There's something about that number six. I knew they was going to win. Oh, yeah. Like it was six, so I feel it was three. Michael six. Jordan couldn't win no more than seven yeah. and six. You know? It won six championships. Yep. It, I seen that number three and six a lot in the New Browns. Yep. That's something else, man. Yeah, that's something else, man. Yeah, because what is it like the Super Bowl? They do like the satanic rituals and stuff. Yeah, the halftime show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this year's that's what halftime I'm show. Yeah. It's just like a, it looked like they was in hell. Yeah. It was just like fire. Yeah, that's it, what I'm talking about. Yeah, it was like that shit was pretty gay actually. It was uh, who was that? Uh, fucking what's the faggot's name? Maroon Five. I saw him with some dudes who said he was gonna show up all that time. Yeah, dude. What? Somebody exposed his titties. He was gay. He looked what gay. The fuck? Yeah. yeah. And they had Big Boy from Outcast and Travis Scott. It was trash. Wow. It was pretty trash. Somebody said number six. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody said number six. Fake ass shit. Well, you know what a football fan was? That whole football thing, that goes back to the Roman Empire, obviously. Yep. They, they have the games and the Coliseums. They, use, they even use Roman numerals for the Super Bowl. You know what I mean? Yeah. That goes back to Roman times. Plus, you know what? What does the word fan mean? You know what that means? Fan? The, the word fan, like a, you're a fan, a sports fan. I'm a fan of the, you know, Bengals. <laughs> I, I used to be a Bengals fan. But well, you know what that word fan? That comes from the Latin word uh, phantom, which means temple. Because that's, that's part of their religion is the sports. So, Because you, you call somebody a fan or a fanatic, mm -hmm. that's somebody you find up in the, 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 the temple. That's like the word profane. You know, a profane got the same word fan in it. Yeah. Fame. And profane means outside the temple, you know? Outside. So that Super Bowl, that, that, that's part of that Roman religion, really. That's why they call them fans. Sports fans. What's the next big stage that's coming up to keep people distracted? Uh, the trade deadline, the NBA. Yeah. They about right. to, uh, yeah. your the boy AD. Yep. Yeah. That's how they keep them distracted. Yeah. They, all the people talking about AD, AD. I'm about that deadline to trade, It ain't nobody talking about those missiles. They just talking about AD. You for the NBA? Yeah. Said? Huh? You said for the NBA? Yeah, the trade deadline is like a... Yeah, but it's MVP. I can't watch too much at NFL. They eating it up, man. They stay in front of that tube for 24 hours. Eating it up. Can't wait till they see what they NFL team did or the NBA team trade. The NBA trade. That's crazy shit. That's funny. They traded people there. That tells you they're pretty much slaves. Yeah. yeah. Slave trade. Like you don't get to choose what team you play for. Right. They will trade you. Like they're trading cattle or something. Like they're trading like cars or something. Like uh, yeah, yeah, baseball yeah, cars. You know. Yeah. They trade actual people yeah. on the market. Trading people on the market. 
They don't, yeah, but they, you know, they get paid a lot of money, so it's different. Yeah. Shit really ain't different. It's fake money. It's money that wealth they really don't have. Yeah, that's an imaginary one. That's most, all it is. But I just heard some of them guys talking about, you know, you know, but the most people in the professional sports, their career don't last very long at all. And that, they, run, they run through that money like it ain't nothing. Really? Too many dudes out there getting paid when LeBron get paid. Most guys, you know, they ain't really making money. This shit is all orchestrated. We're going to start arguing and bickering about their income, uh, redoing their contracts. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's true. That's true. It's all part of the script. Man, that shit is fake as hell, man. Like, the NBA is obviously fake as hell. Like, with the whole... Like, you talking about that trade deadline coming up. That's all, like, distractions. Plus, they got the trade deadline at the same time as the Super Bowl. They're making trades and shit, competing with the NFL. That's just fake. Well, I found out, though, the NBA and the NFL, they all share the income. Oh, yeah? Each team. That's, One I, team don't make more than the other. They all share income within, within the NFL. Yeah, because so, yeah, they... It's all business. control. Yeah. Yeah. It's all business. Right? The business. It's they, all business. It's, right. They don't even call it the sport. They call it entertainment. Thing. Right, you yeah. Know, it's entertainment. And they came out with your boy Tony Romo. He spilled the beans. He was calling the plays. He was telling you what was going to happen before it happened. <laughs> Did you see that? Tony shit? Romo, yeah, yeah. Was that Tony Romo? It was Tony Romo. He was calling every fucking play. That shit got to be set up. Oh, they did like, oh, he's just that good. Nah, I watched Tony Romo. Exactly. Oh, he's just that good. Yeah, he's just that good. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Who? <laughs> he was with some more famous but My shit is probably getting trash, ain't it? No, I've been keeping it, it on there. Yeah. I see it. It's all right, man. This camera, man, it's done. You... I'm trying to keep it on there. I see some big old droplets. Oh, be good. okay. Let me nah, move a little good. closer. <laughs> you see it's all... Ex I got it all rigged up. That's all right. Get a little closer to it. Yeah, these fools out here, man. Man, these fools. First two of you, 13 and 7, when I was a child. I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. You can't yeah. tell, mate, with these grown ass people, they still out here like in the Pokemon and shit. They're like 40, 30 years old. Yeah. They walk around Pokemon book bags. You know what I mean? They'll do some cosplay, dress up like Pikachu. Yeah, you see that online everywhere, man. Grown men. Grown men. They bro, you know that they say the average age of a video uh, a video game player is like 30, 35 or something. It's going up, dude. It's way up. It's going up. Yeah. All the games that uh, you know, most grown men instead of they learn the role playing games and stuff sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. But they be sometimes. But they be they don't get off the motherfucker. Yeah, That's all, all they do. Yeah. They like a zombie just dedicated stuck, <laughs> stuck on that game. All the games are adult oriented. Yeah. yeah. That's and true. And they're all online. Yeah. So you like pause it. I can't pause it. It's online. <laughs> yeah. You really can't? You can't. You can't pause it. I didn't know that. Well, it depends on what you're playing. <laughs> if you're in the metal middle of a match, you can't pause shit. I hate that online shit. Somebody yeah. I hate it too. You <laughs> but you see the way that they're doing it now. A lot of the, a lot of the video games that they're doing now, they're mixing the little kids with the adults now. They're trying to merge that together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the little kids always want to play the adult shit. Yeah, anyway. yeah. I mean, you know, every little five year old wanted the new Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. You know what I mean? They gotta have that. And the game's called fucking Grand Theft Auto, and that's that's what the little children want. Yeah. They they want to steal cars and do uh, beat up hookers. Yeah. That's right. That's, that's crazy, yeah. That's true. Let's think about it. Yeah, three and five. Yeah, three and five. That's the top game. You gonna talk about this first? Yeah. And then little kids, they go play the game. They go try to do it in real life. Yeah, exactly. 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 When did Grand Theft first come out? The which one? Grand Theft. When did any? When did first start the series? Oh, uh, back in PS One days. That's the old. So series. that's early nineties. Was mid late nineties. Was it late nineties? Yeah, late nineties. Early nineties. Well, PS1. Yeah, I would like, say early. Probably 90, 97, 98. I don't know. Yeah. That's still a long time ago. Right, right, but right that time, that was. Yeah. Car theft was. 90 was a triple for car theft. That's when the PS2 version came out. That's when the. It oh, multiplied. When they got the 3D one. <laughs> he was actually seeing stories on the news every day. All oh, kids thought he was a 
real life Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Little still some cars. Yeah. And then they got the Call of Duty games. Call of Duty ain't nothing but get these kids interested in joining the military and shit. Yeah. Wow. Okay, you do not want to be in the military right now. Right and I got in the car, and my girl got in the car and pulled off. And as I pulled off, I look in the rear view mirror, mm -hmm. I see some dudes. They, they say, stop. Yeah. I had to call the gun, it's coming to check me. I just had to pull off just in time. Whoa. I was looking in the mirror. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Looking in the mirror, I can see them in the mirror. I'm like, whoa. They hold yeah. the strap and everything, man. Like, damn. And they cool with that shit. They encourage that shit, man. Yeah. And you play that Grand Theft Auto, that should be fun as hell, too. You know what I mean? That's how they get you. Yeah. Sell dope. Destroy your people, man. You encourage that they you, you lift it up. You yeah. Mm -hmm. You the man. You an OG. You an OG. You an OG. What's your name, yeah. Be on your ass and play the prison. Uh. <laughs> I was talking to this motherfucking nigga in this bitch the other day. I was like, damn, dude. Where you get your precepts from? Iced tea? That's what it sounds like. <laughs> iced tea. That's what it, like. That's what it sounds like. His shit came from this iced tea, man. <laughs> iced tea got that wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'll be reading the it's YouTube like comments though. They, they actually say right. that, they like, all oh, real work for the OG. Uh -huh. You got that truth, you got that fire. Yeah. They you say, got Israel Ice. Right. You and Israel Ice too, bro. That man, Buck, Ty, and Jim, don't go try to Israel. You do this as well. Yeah. Is that right? What's your national right. name? Right. Yeah, well, well, hill villains are usually Israelites. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know? West Virginia, West Yeah, those are, those are Jake's, man. Appalachia. I'm Mike Kidder. Yeah, I got it. I was up in New York City years ago. Right. They did not like this team. Oh, well. They don't bother me at all. Right. I don't give a damn. You can have that black one. Shit. 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 Cut. <laughs> and a lot of these sisters out here, they bugged out. Uh-oh. I just got to check my time. Check my time. Hey, get on the No, no, no. Okay. Get your nine. Get your nine? Black man. Hold on. Daniel 9, verse 7. Oh, so go ahead, man. Okay. Daniel 9, verse 7. O oh Lord, Yahweh, righteousness belongeth <laughs> unto thee, but unto confusion of faces. So the. Oh, oh, you right here. I'm over here. Okay, go ahead. It says, uh, righteousness belongs to us, but the confusion faces to, uh, to us, right? Because that's why, that's why, like, you you got white skin so far, but really... We mixed the Neanderthals. No, no, you, no, we, the Israelites mixed with the uh, other nations. That's why we got, like, you. Yeah. Because the original, no, 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 the original Israelites were so-called black skin, right? But they had sex with the other nations. You guys are African. No, 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 we're not. We're Israelites. Yeah, we're Israelites. But you got to listen to what I'm saying. We was originally black, right? And then we got mixed and we went to other nations, right? And then we started having sex with their women. So all, all of us, so all, some of our children, some of our children are like you. But you're actually us. Because really, because there's no such thing, there's no such thing as mixed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You all, you all we're all human. Yeah, but we are. My race is human. Yeah, but let's go. Bob Marley said it. I approve it. You like? Oh, that's where you said that. Hey, Bob Marley. Hey. You know, wh 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 yeah. who, who's Bob Marley's? Uh, who's Bob Marley's? He was mother? mixed or whatever. His dad was an English but, okay. captain yep. of a navy. He, his mother, Rita Marley, was black. Right, right, you right. know, we, we hit out there because of slavery and all that. But, but it, 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 so it, it, what it, was his dad though? 
Uh, Robert Esther Marley. He was the naval captain. She was a Jake. He was English. He was white. But if he didn't have a white But look at her. Beautiful. That's beautiful. That's a white nationality. I hope it's beautiful. That's why we have this with him. You know what I'm saying? I would. That's God. I want multiple. But it's the truth. It's the truth. You know what I mean? It's the truth. And I think light skin shit. <laughs> when it happened up here in Neanderthal, in Germany, and France, and stuff, in Neanderthal, the French, and the they, they went up, they just put magnets, went up there. They ain't no them. such thing as Neanderthal, you throw magnets. Oh, uh, how do you look at your skulls? They were here. They were human. They were not us. Hey, I can, I can show you some, some, some people with some skulls like that out here. And their jaws as big as hell and all that. Just look at them. <laughs> well, I'm not sure. Yeah. So so I've seen them drool of pain when they do it. I'm not bad. I'm not bad. No. They call it the Hasbro jaw. That's it. That's I've seen their wide noses and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's but a whole very I don't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. I think there was many yeah. people, people like of humans they all kinds like of there was I, I tigers like uh, every uh, other animal was like a troll. Okay. What was his image? His image probably was the good nature. The nature of respect and spiritualism, not our out, our outer being, you being, all that. About that. It was his image. Because if he prays a truly image, we'd be invisible. Okay, I, okay, but I gotta take you back though. What did, okay. what did he look like? He, well, if he said he, if he created us in his uh, image, we'd be invisible. Because he's well, invisible. I know during the dark age. But okay. his image, though, has nothing to do with our looks. No, 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 no. We've had to do with our way we conduct we ourselves, the way we treat other people. The Israel was up there before them. But, okay. Give me a... Uh, That's when they, the car that Esau moved up to the Kazari. The, um... Give me revelations. It's really... No, I can't do that. No, you need to know what he looks like, man. But I understood what... What, uh, what did he look he like? He the Bible. He went, but what he did he St. look like? St. Paul, St. John. What, man, what is that? Is it Revelation? Well, you know, uh, I just know you can't hide the Bible what happened. Constantine did that. Right, Constantine. <laughs> what the most high looked like, man? <laughs> right, so we got this in the book of Daniel, I'll tell you. Uh, he got like, <laughs> the Roman. He can't hide the Bible to control the people. Bible means book of life. But it matters what he Great. looks like, though, man. Yeah. yeah. It does matter. What he looks like, it doesn't matter. He wasn't translucent, man, you know? Well, he couldn't have been coming from that cockhead. Well, no, 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 think about it. Could the Jesus come from Turkey, right? Which is the Israel. Well, but right. where's Turkey? Yeah. Where's Turkey? Yeah. Turkey? That's a little, that's a few hundred miles Where are we? Well, thank you. There weren't no cro magnum There weren't no white people. Hey, let me ask you this, though. What color are the Vikings? Norsemen, they were probably like us. Okay, no, 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 let's play with this. Now, what color are the Eskimos? They both live way up north. But oh, what, what color are they? Right, what color? Read the materials. What color? They were American. Just YouTube made. internet, man. Uh, just, uh, just YouTube, you go to YouTube, just search the videos. Okay. The Vikings, listen, what I'm going, though, uh, great is the Vikings and the boat, great and, great and, great and, and the Eskimos yeah. live, the Eskimos live up even farther north than the Vikings. Uh, and they're, they're darker than him. Right. So they tell you that the climate does not have nothing to do with skin color. It's right. the migrations over the years. You understand the okay. migration came out of Africa. There's more than one migration that happened. It happened over the years. But most of the skin color has nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. Yeah, it got nothing to do with the climate. Because you got white people that live in Arizona. Yeah. That's, I that's, have it's not as fucked out there. Yeah. It's different than he does. What? But you probably an Israelite anyway, so it ain't no 3% nothing. You 100% Israelite. Right. You know, so we're 100% both the same thing. 100%, not three. It's all about That's confusion. Our See, the scripture says the Lord is not the author of confusion. That's confusion. Yeah. Okay? It's all about the seed of your father and his father and his father and his father. And that had nothing to do with a woman. It's all about the seed in the line of your father. So your father goes back to these people. 
I won't get off the street for a minute. Uh, uh, I'll go back and talk to you. Just come back and rap, man. Okay. That's why we out here for everybody to rap with us, man. You know, we're trying to bring so everybody, even the main. Like yeah. the old Christian says bring in the main, too. Yeah. You guys leave right there. Jess Sean, the Midrash, the whole Testament. Of course. We believe in the Old Testament. Here we go. The whole book, the Old Testament. Thousands of the book. Yeah. How do you know what, what uh, Constantine decided was going to be put in that book? Uh, that's, Constantine didn't uh, decide what was put when in the Bible. Can, the Catholics? When it canonized about you telling me that didn't happen? They already had a canon uh, long before that. Because the New Testament about the book. Wall of death. God, the Amish, like the Mennonites that came over here what about, creating their barn. You no, know, you understand. I know really about Mennonites. They're the Anabaptists. I know about the Anabaptists. Anabaptists. Right. I know about this. They broke off from the Catholics. They said, we're going to raise our children to be, and then they can decide for themselves. That's, that's something different, though, because they still had the same Bible, though, as yeah, a Catholic. from the Catholics. As, as, as a Catholic, we're first the Anabaptists. Hebrews 10 and 7. Then said, I hope. You guys are I very interesting. I like you guys. I come. Oh, okay. In the value of the book, as it is written on me, I'm going to read the original Lord's Prayer. Uh, Hebrews 10 and 7. Then said, I go. I come. Uh, I come uh, in the value of the book. Uh, so we come in the volume, the whole book. From the book of Genesis to the Revelation, we use the whole book. You know what I mean? Because, you know, they had some in the ancient world long before Constantine called the Septuagint. We've been here for 150,000 years. We got 10,000 years of history. I don't know about that. Uh, Crow Magnus? Yeah. They know Crow Magnus. We got Skull of a Coup. We've been here for That was Esau. Right. That's the Esau. We've been here for a while. You talked to Andy. Right. And you know what I'm talking about? I'm not talking about Alistair Crowley. I'm not talking about Alistair Crowley. I'm not talking about Alistair I know he's talking about Alistair Crowley. No, I'm not talking about him. I'm not talking about over there with the Neanderthal or with the ones that uh, did with the, the Giants. Um, <laughs> when they did talk to they did it with the, uh, with the Polynesians and they come out the uh, Anunnaki. You know, I'm not talking about Anunnaki. You know about all that shit. Yeah, I'm not, but I'm not talking about that. I was going, you know, I know what about you talking about, talking about, man. I would, I would come here. I'm going to go in here. I'll be right back. All right, bro. Thank God. He went to the Anunnaki. Yeah, he was drunk. Yeah, you could. Hey, when people go into that shit, well, I've looked at that uh, that Crow Magnet and the yeah. Neanderthal shit. That bro, those are just people. He said color don't matter. That's what he said. Color don't matter. He said color don't matter. It don't matter what he looks like. That's what he said. Color don't matter. Well, I wanted. To re I was trying to get this. He's too drunk. But I was gonna read this. <laughs> Well, let's go into that. You know, Israel being scattered, though. Amos 99. Actually, let me start at verse 8. For these fools out of here. Amos 98. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the simple kingdom. And I would... Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the simple kingdom. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob says the Lord. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. Like as a corn is sifted in a seed, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. He would have just sat still and listened. Yeah. He would have picked that up and he could have answered. That's why we got Daniel. He's going to break into his mind, man. You a brother too, man. You can see you an Israelite too. That's the whole message. You're an Israelite too. If the sign goes back to it. He probably a crazy Irishman or something like that. Yeah. Crazy Irishman. You can't, you got no sense of it. No, I'm sorry. I Irish motherfucker. Is this something? This motherfucker's annoying. That's how you know they check, man. They got a cool spirit on them. Only only Jake can have that spirit, man. A cool spirit. So if he sober up, he can be cool. He probably be a lot cool as drink a beer with him, you know? Like you see Esau don't be getting drunk and talking shit. Hell, yeah. Never not yeah. one time I've ever seen that. Just laugh and talking shit about people. Like, yeah, right. Raggedy motherfuckers. Oh, <laughs> I've never, never, ever seen that. They don't do yeah, that. That's never. true. Never. That's Israel's true. just they don't be Esau don't be walking the streets like that. Uh, <laughs> walking uh, on slow across the street, pimp walking like ah oh, damn motherfucker they hit me. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs>
He saw only his best behavior. Yeah, he's like, he, he saw only walks no, when that sign yeah, says right. walk. You're right. He Evan? speaks eloquent. He speaks and pronounce every pronunciation. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pronoun and adverbs. <laughs> he's a perfect citizen. That's right. Perfect. The perfect devil, right? Right. Perfect devil. Like perfect devil. Sir. Okay. <laughs> Let's get in the east. That's what's up, man. Hey, look, I'm right here on Open Diet. Right by Amo. Check this out. Yeah. Oh, you must have the reading glasses. Right. It's about to go down. Gotta get the reading glasses out. <laughs> Demons came out a little bit today, didn't they? Yeah. That was just, uh, the first one, the first guy was a demon. Mm -hmm. That drunk dude, he had demons on him too, though. He was talking about all kind of fucked up shit. <laughs> you can't keep track of all the shit they say. You cry, cry, you really can't. Yeah, no. every time, bro, yeah, they're talking about some aliens, Anunnaki, fucking. These motherfuckers all over the place. Like 10 years ago, you never heard nobody talk about Anunnaki, whatever, the Nephilim. Now you hear that shit every day. Holy shit. Or the, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're, we're speaking on Esau, right? Yeah. Job 31. But now, they that are younger than I have me in derision, whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. He was like them. Boy and a girl dog. <laughs> I mean, why would they even be in here if you wouldn't do it? No, dog's an unclean animal. Oh, yeah. So Esau, he's worse than an unclean animal. Worse than an unclean animal. Foul, foul, filthy piece of shit, man. Like a dog, yeah. He's the worst than a dog. He is worse than a dog. Don't be going around destroying nation. Yeah. Don't be going around breaking the pillars. I mean, when Esau go into a nation, man, that nation could be blossoming and, mm -hmm. and prospering just like Libya, just like Iraq before the U.S. invaded them. Mm -hmm. When they left up out, that motherfucker is nothing but God, madness, man. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> the, the buildings were powder. Oh, shit. But then after he destroys everything, they're the problem. They what are supposed to do? They the terrorists. Okay. He, he said he's going into Libya and Iraq and Afghanistan and take the markets. I got to And rebuild them. Right. And they said, yeah. have the Lord and peace spoken only by Moses. And he's spoken also by us, and the Lord heard it. Now the man Moses is very meek above all men which were upon the face of the earth. And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses and unto Aaron and to, unto Miriam, Come out ye three. Wait a minute. How to get there? Man, this is where the mess my shit up, man. I ended up in numbers. This rain is not just. I'm in Joe 1, Joe 30. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Yeah, this rain, you're something else. Hey, baby, That's all right, though. It That's was all freezing. Right. It was damn minus 500 the other day. <laughs> well, I was, it was freezing. Cold as <laughs> the beat, man. Right. 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 It was cold. Right. 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 I was done. It, it was, was cold. That, it got real cold. I was loving seeing the Venus. That vortex. Man, the cold was. I would love seeing that. Man. My car was sorry. <laughs> it was so cold. I was right there by that uh, space heater, man, you. trying to stay warm, just like in the corner, man. That was no joke. Mm. That shit was cold, bro. Ridiculous. Man. That's my scripture. They found a UPS, man. I think the thing was UPS. Yeah, that died. They found it's frozen. Man. Yeah. They found it's frozen. Yeah. Well, I saw that. Uh -huh. <laughs> See a bunch of cops in the game, too. Yeah, you saw it. Well, them cops in Texas got blast. Oh, that's good. It's cold. That's just a song. It's cold, man. Hey, we ain't not a winner yet. Nah, we ain't. <laughs> I get happy. <laughs> right. We ain't not a winner yet. Nah, no, no. What did they say? The, what's that bunch? The Percipious bunch? You know what that is? <laughs> no. Wait, you know spring? It's not going to... It wasn't much of a fucking mom said. It's not the grandma's wisdom. <laughs> when the Percipious... Per, how do you do Percipious bunch bloom? You know it ain't gonna snow no more. Why? So it's blooming? Not yet. Yeah. But you know, man, you know when you were younger, 
and you would see like the older people it'll be like get the like one or two days where it's nice and warm out and they're still all layered up and you looking at them like they crazy but man when you get older you start seeing yeah why are you looking at me I'm yeah up still. you gotta be layered you I'm know what i'm saying this ain't nothing but a, that's a, that's a, watch tomorrow next few days watch what happens yeah you gonna see everybody sniffing sniff I'm yeah like, colds and everything i'm gonna yeah. ride my bike tomorrow shit. it's gonna what's the weather gonna be like tomorrow it's supposed to be this all week Really? Yeah. Supposed to be in the 50s. Supposed to be in the 40s and 50s all week. Damn. Oh. Trying to bust out the old bike, boy, get back in shape. That might be a sign of a big storm coming. Yeah, oh, that's man, true. Say, yeah, that's usually that's a sign true. of a big storm coming. Yep. I'm trying to lose, I'm trying to try to get back in shape. It hit the, hit the wheels. And I had a strip of wood. I can't wait to start running. I can't wait to hit them dirt hills. Yeah. You gonna go running? Quick. Yeah, yeah. I need to start running hills. I had all the athletes, that's all they talk about. Jerry Rice and all them. Yeah, yeah. Just running hills. That's what I've been years. I've been doing that for years. That's just fun. Man. I told your boy to run the hills too. Oh, he said he did it. He started, he started doing it. Your uh, good friend he used to be a baby. He's my dad. No, remember last time he told me he talked, he came out and said he was playing football? Yeah. Okay. He said he started running the hills. What's up, dude? You said what? This guy was going to scout on the Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not a... That's no joke, man. Work is 